So in this video, we are going to talk about the app privacies. Now, some people make um, are very serious about it. Some people are more lenient about it. But uh, for better or for worse, it's always good to know where the uh, permissions and privacy are and which devices, oh sorry, which applications or softwares you want to grant certain permissions. For example, uh, this is a secure browser and uh, whenever I'm taking a test it access the camera so I know that uh, I will be watched or recorded now imagine some app that and I, I installed it I granted permission and I understand that uh, this will be recording me but imagine an app that does not have my um, permission it starts just open up the camera that is possible and uh, you just want to make sure that if an app is doing it you had given it your permission so for that always go to system preferences and security and privacy you'll go over here and over here you have all the um, apps that have some kind of permission or they had asked and you granted or not for example, you can see find my is not checked. Everything else is checked. Uh, so like uh, it's pretty much general to change any settings. You always have to click here on the clock on the lock provide your uh, device password. So there are two kind of password. One is the iCloud. The other one is the uh, your device password and you can choose to use the same one I try not to it's in my general practice I always have a different password for different things so and it's pretty good uh, that way you cannot accidentally uh, type in the password give it uh, any permission or install anything that you didn't want to all right so you can see enable location services so location services enable and i have given permission to maps reminders siri and nothing else that can actually access my location on this device you can see google chrome is not one of them it asked and maybe i said no you don't need my uh, location so, yeah, i can revoke location service for the whole de device overall and turn off now no application on this device can access my location and but if I want to pick and choose I can enable it and tell which one is going to be now let's see and I, I, I don't know if you uh, notice or not the screen change to bright white because location service uh, is being used by the night light feature where it will dim the blue light you know filter the blue light for, so, as long as it's night here and you can see it's 4 55 a.m so if i go and open up the maps you can see it it's simply you know it didn't ask it's showing me my location over here and that's it like it took me straight to uh, where I am now if I were to go and revoke the excess and see what happens now that blue dot is gone and I don't know what it what this is it's definitely not my area oh it's generally my area Okay, yep, I can see where. So it's generally the area I am in, but it's not the exact area. So you can see that location service. Let's see if I go Marisville, close it, relaunch. No, oh, let's go quit it and relaunch it. So I'm in totally different uh, area, North Lewisburg, Champaign. That's 
okay now how to go and find you can see this uh, even I can say it's a uh, location service is disabled for it if I click over here it says open privacy settings it opened it it wants me to give it permissions I say done nothing happened and I do it over here that uh, location uh, service blockage is gone and you can see that it's tracking now over here and if the blue dot appeared and it's telling me I am right here all right so this is it for the uh, uh, for the maps now let's go and go try to find more permissions for all of these so notice the camera if I click on camera Google Chrome has my permission for the camera and uh, for some reason and the PSI secure browser and I believe that is because I was taking the course through these two so they are in conjunction with I'm gonna leave it for now I don't want to interrupt my uh, test but I could always revoke access to this browser for and they can no longer watch me you can see who has my microphone permission I don't know I why iMovie has it I never used it speech recognition I haven't launched it so maybe that's why it hasn't asked me yet so there are different uh, notice this the camera is not listing the cam official FaceTime app because by default it's uh, it's Apple um, app and it has the permission built in it's supposed to get the camera on so it's there's if there is a way to revoke the access that must be inside the app itself or there will be none so this is where you will come and find out who or which device has what kind of permission and you can simply go revoke them and be done with it all right so let's go wrap this video here uh, if this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.